Now, who doesn't need some good news? When you listen, or when you watch, or when you read the news, you're often bombarded with negativity. For instance, let's look at the CBC's social media feed and what they are giving us. Okay, here is the CBC Facebook page. Let's see if we can find any good news. Federal government investigating after cyber attack hits global affairs. Ukraine tensions and prospects of rate hikes coming soon send stock markets into the red. Florida man charged in Canada-US human smuggling scheme at Manitoba border to appear in court. Several people died in this event. Canadian academic Hassan Diab goes to trial next week in French terrorism case. NATO sends more ships and jets to Eastern Europe as Russia builds up troops near Ukraine. Often the news media gives us such negative news so that we can come back or gives us news that'll make us angry so we can come back and return to their news feed. But God has some good news for you in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 1 to 6. I'm going to read it for you. Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. But we've renounced disgraceful and underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word. But by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel it is, is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. There's really four things that I want to talk about as I deliver to you this good news. First, is we need to get the good news right. Here in this passage, Paul says that he does not do four things. He doesn't act disgraceful. He doesn't act, act underhanded. He doesn't practice cunning or deceitful behavior. And he doesn't tamper with God's word. Basically, there are people out there, even in Canada, that are distorting the good news so much so that it's not even good news anymore. But Paul, when he preaches Christ, does not do any of that. We need to get this good news right. Two, is that all humans, all human beings are sinful and blind to this news. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, 3, this good news is hidden from those who are perishing. And in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4, Satan blinds the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. All humans are blinded by sin. All humans are dead in sin. We are dead to God. We are rebels against God. And we need God to intervene in our lives because we are dead and blinded by sin. Number three, because we are blind and dead to God, the gospel needs to be preached to people so that they can have life. Paul says he doesn't preach himself, but he preaches Jesus Christ as Lord. He preaches Christ faithfully as the Lord of the universe, the sovereign Lord over all creation. He preaches Jesus Christ in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19. This Lord Jesus brings reconciliation and restores sinners back to God who are outside of this relationship with Jesus Christ. Paul preaches in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 that Jesus becomes sin. And he didn't know sin. He was sinless. He was perfect. But he took upon sin so that 
we, the believers in Jesus Christ, might be declared righteous or declared pure and blameless before God. Our sins would be wiped away, that we would be declared right in God's sight. And the fourth thing I want to talk about is God gives this light and gives this grace to people. The gospel working in the heart of someone who has the gospel veiled to them or is blinded by Satan is God's work. Paul goes back in 2 Corinthians 4, 6 to Genesis chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. On the first day, remember the earth was formless and void and God speaks light. Let there be light. And light is given to the world. God shines His light into the hearts of blind people. People in darkness. And God by the Holy Spirit reveals the good news to people. That there is a Savior. That there is a God who reconciles us back to Himself through His Son, Jesus Christ. There's lots of bad news out there. Lots of bad news. But look to Jesus and His work. Never be discouraged. Come to Christ. Cry out to God if you're outside Him and you feel that you are in darkness because you don't know God. Cry out to God and ask Him to give you the light of Christ and the grace of Christ. And if you know Christ already, and if you've experienced being brought from death to light, and from darkness to light, because of the grace of God, praise the Lord for His wonderful grace given to you. Live your life in obedience to Christ. Live your life in thankfulness to Christ. Thanks be to God for His good news. He gives us light while we're in darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.